sliding to return a shot is a common tennis practice on clay courts, but lately players have started using it on grass and hard courts as well. Scientists say it is faster than running and allows athletes to change direction more quickly. The speed of the game has increased a lot because the players are uh, serving faster than years before. Uh, could be because of the materials of the rackets or could be the, the, the strings as well. But I think it's a necessity of the, of the players to, to reach the ball faster. So far, only a few top players have mastered the technique of clay. For effective slides, the shoes must perfectly match the court's surface, and this is where the science comes in handy. I think it, it will become more like a Formula One race, probably, when, when depending on the weather conditions, on the, or depending on, the, on, on this case, on the, on the surface conditions, I think the, the shoes are going to play an important role during a match. Looking for the best match between shoe and surface, researchers at the University of Sheffield have built a special mechanical rig that can measure the shoe traction. In order to do that we need to understand a number of parameters including the, how the shoe changes and how, how, the, how the properties of the shoe affect that interaction, how the properties of the tennis courts affect that and also other factors like temperature uh, and the actual player loading themselves, so how they, how they slide or move around on the courts. The research, in partnership with the International Tennis Federation, may lead to different materials for tennis shoes, different court surfaces, and ultimately faster and even more exciting tennis matches. George Putic, VOA News, Washington.